demand for testing at an all-time high. As students return to the classroom in the middle of this Omicron surge, today the U.S. confirming another 400,000 new cases. So let's take a look at today's headlines right now in the pandemic. Los Angeles County reporting 16,000 new COVID cases today, which is lower than the past few days, and that's likely due to weekend reporting delays. Hospitalizations are going up, but they're still much lower than this same time last year. That's because we have vaccines and the Omicron variant is potentially less severe. Even so, more children are becoming seriously ill, with Los Angeles County now reporting nearly 190% increase in pediatric hospitalizations last month. Also, the FDA has expanded now Pfizer's emergency use of a COVID-19 booster shot for children ages 12 to 15. Of course, all of this comes as students return to school after the winter break. NBC 4's Beverly White with more on all of that. Families lined up for hours in Pasadena to get kids tested for COVID before classes resume on Tuesday. Tests are not required by Pasadena Unified, but matter to the peace of mind of many. I feel like it's the right thing to do. We want to make sure that, you know, our kids are going to school safe. Of course there's a concern, you know, it's concern, you know, when you, when you exit the house. Fears of COVID follow cases skyrocketing due to the infectious Omicron variant. Assembly member Miguel Santiago understands. He's confident Pfizer vaccine shielded his son and daughter from harsh symptoms. They just tested positive with breakthrough COVID. My kids are showing uh, mouth symptoms of COVID, uh, dry cough, um, but they're in good spirits. You know, they're healthy, they're eating, and they're sleeping well, and, and those are all key signs uh, to recovery. Meanwhile, LA Unified now has new safety guidelines mandating a negative COVID test for everyone when school resumes on January 11th. Testing applies to all students and employees regardless of vaccination status until the end of January. Also mandated face mask, surgical grade or higher for all employees. Garfield High School here in East LA is one of dozens of LA Unified campuses now offering COVID testing. It's required for hundreds of thousands of students and staff in the nation's second and largest school district. This expert wonders if schools can stay open in what he calls an Omicron blizzard. A lot of teachers, a lot of staff are going to come down with, with, with COVID and whether schools are going to be able to remain open with a limited staff, with reduced staffing, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. For families with stricken school kids, surviving and not spreading COVID is priority. We're quarantining, we're uh... Uh, working from home, uh, making sure that others are safe. The FDA now recommending children 12 to 15 get an extra Pfizer booster, as well as some children with compromised immune systems between ages 5 and 11. Changes awaiting final approval by the CDC. So we're just urging everybody to get uh, your vaccine and get boosted. It saves lives. And uh, our family is living proof uh, that the vaccines do work. In East L.A., Beverly White, NBC4 News.